Hey folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play To The Moon! Okay, that definitely does sound like a very pretentious movie. And when last we left off, we're trying to implant the idea of going to the moon into Johnny's memories, but it's not working. We found a really messed up, fragmented and incomplete memory in Johnny's early childhood, and rather than trying to figure it out, which I'm not even sure they could, Watts and Rosaline tried to do what they could with what they had, and nothing has happened. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. I'm not sure he'll be able to forgive you. But I bet nothing's changed. Yep. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Yep. Lily? Don't worry. You won't remember this. Okay, we're here now. Perhaps something here could work. So, did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait. I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed! Something's changed! Hey, don't squeeze! What's happening? What's happening here? Wait a minute. This isn't a real change, this is... May I have your attention, please? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. Anyway, I know that many of you are wondering... What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn, or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You! But I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old! Oh no! And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true! In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Oh no! Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days! I knew that! Did you? And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous! And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. Oh, what's why? So, that concludes the presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. That did not work. That was terrible. Oh, please get mad at him, Rosaline. Please get mad. Well, what do you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course! Be right back! It won't have worked! Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Like what? 
Such as? Well... We're running out of time. Oh, we're going back to here? We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her. But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can! Oh no! Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we barely have anyone. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true, for both you and your spouse. Oh no! No! Free pony rides in space! Oh, it's not gonna work! Oh look, a wedding! Good for you! But here's a riddle! Guess where you should go for the honeymoon! Oh, this is so terrible! It's not gonna work! None of this is gonna work! River? What are you doing? Dagnabbit grass slippery! Johnny! J John! What the cucumber? Whew! You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals! I didn't sign up for a job to run around yelling at him like an idiot! You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have bought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Oh dear! This is going bad. But we all knew it would. And there's the actual lighthouse. In reality! Doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes in two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the call to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Ah, focus is shifting. Ah, the sun's rising. You got a lot of sleep there. You got no sleep there. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. I hope so. I hope so. How's the patient? Oh. That's... that's no longer green. That's no longer green. That's now orange. His condition is worsening. We don't have much time. Look, you can smell that squirrel near run over all the way from here now. Just gonna check everywhere else to see if there's anything going on in here. But Ma, I don't wanna go to school. 
It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late, but I should have watched them. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you want to ask, let me sit down first. Okay. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Let's ask about you. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. The two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. I'm sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down he really wanted a family. Hmm. So what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays, and they'll figure it out. Might as well, it's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. What about the future? This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this, is all when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Well, no more questions. Oh. Hey. Hmm? Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Hmm. Well, we're gonna try! is. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. Uh-oh. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at a time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, if it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. Well, if it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know about of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse but me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air.
Ahem. <clears throat> Forgot my coffee. Don't forget that! Note, beta blocker. The last paper rabbit River gave to John. Let's have a look at that note. A drug with side effects of dampening memories. Ooh, okay. There's something... With... It smells! Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva! It smells! I know, it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. The last memory, the one we were stuck at. It was the same smell! What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... what? It means that smell is arguably the most effective sense of memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now you just need to go fetch the piece of roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran it over! Exactly. I've already done my part. <laughs> oh, you miserable goit! Um, if it helps any, I... Mm? I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. Thank you! They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. So, we're gonna go get some roadkill! Yay! I hope it's still there. This is when it's not there anymore and we despair. And that rhymed! Oh dear. Oh dear, why? Hey, squirrels! Ah, deja vu. Indeed. We've seen that before. Are we, in fact, within a memory? No, we're not. We're not. It's just those squirrels like to chase each other. All right, here we go. It's still there. Oh, yeah. What kind of things this job gets me into? Not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valved container in the car. It'll at least make its odor controllable. All right. Let's get ourselves some roadkill. Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. But there's a toilet indoors. What happened there? What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. That's a bottle. Ah, here it is. Received valve container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Also, now to look at this in my inventory. Description. Th there is no description of the valve container. I suppose it has description enough, considering it's called a valve container. Ugh. Received contained roadkill odor. Yep, again, no description there. Let's make our way back. Yay! Where is Dr. Watts going to be? Gonna see those squirrels again? Nope. Well, there he is. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great! Go get set up. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I... I gotta... Gotta go feed my digital pet! What? Yeah, dudette! I've 
been feeling retro. Anyway, hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What are you... Got someone dying back there! What the potato is he up to? I have no time to check on him now. Something weird's going on there. This is so weird. So when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it'd matter to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Like's the last thing we need. Here we go! Back in! Act 3! They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Wow, we're getting far into the game. That was a quick act. Right, we're back to here. Let's go. Yep, we already have all of these, so we can then go right back to that memory. And so, when we come back, folks, we can just bounce back instantly to here. Unfortunately, things are not go- Oh, that- that condition is bad. That condition is really bad. And so, hopefully, we can get this right. For if we don't, oh, if we don't. I'd like not to think about what happens if we don't. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.